So fundamental terms, chapter one and two quiz. The question one, insurance has existed for a very long time and has greatly influenced our life. So it influenced, especially in the last century. The major reason why insurance is so important. So what is the major reason? Basically, spread of a risk from, right, many to few or of the few among the many. So it's the number three. And um, next one is the terms spread of risk generally means. So what does it mean? Spread of risk means you collect from many and pay to few. So it's B. The premium paid by those who purchase insurance are used to pay the losses of a few. Right? So you collect from many and pay for a few. And then the then we go to third, the definition of insurance in the Insurance Act of the Common Law provinces include all of the following points. All right, definition, accept one, it means find fault. So number one, ability to shift the financial burden for losses to another party, that's true, right? So transfer of risk, true. The promise of payment only the event of certain risk of peril. This is called mean this is called loss, such as fire. So promise, so it means the insurance company promised to pay. That's true. Right? So what do they pay? They pay either the, the money, repair, or investment. You see, payment is restricted to the actual amount of loss. So how about actual? Based on the value of the object of insurance, immediately means immediately before the loss. So whatever the condition is immediately, so that's also true. So they only cover the actual amount, right? Actual and accidental, not intentional. If D, the law requires that payment must be made in the form of money only. So what does it make wrong? Only. It can be money, it can be repair, or it can be replacement. It's, it's up to them. So only makes it wrong. So the answer is D. So this is the exception. Then we go to number four. Property and casualty or PNC most often referred to as general insurance. Provide all of the following type of insurance except one. So what do they cover? Automobile it is the largest. Property is the second largest. Liability. Life insurance no. So we have to do the LQP test for that. So be here for that. And then we go to number five. The entity providing various types of insurance can be either a government insurer or private insurance. All of the following statements pertaining to private insurers are true, except one. So find path. So what are the private insurance? What are the private? Share uh, stock and mutual, right? So first is, Shareholders who have invested capital in a stock company do not expect the company to make a profit at the end of the year. So if you invest the money in the company, what do you want? You want profit. So shareholders are profit oriented. Stock companies are profitable. So do not make a fitter fall. So you find your answer in the very first one. But here's the other one too. Mutual are owned by policy holders, that's true. And profits are not a major consideration. Right? So these are not profit oriented. C. Policy order must, must pay an assessment when premium collected by the mutual are not sufficient. Mean not enough to pay for the losses that have been inferred. So basically, if there are more losses, it means they have to pay more. So that's also true. D. In stock companies, the policy holders are not assessed an additional premium amount when losses exceed the premium collector. Because stock companies are profit oriented. It has nothing to do with the premiums, right? So that's true. So which one should be is number A. And we go to six. Insurance is distributed to the public through different channels. Most insurance 
so use the independent broker system as their distribution source all of the following statement pertaining to independent brokers are correct are independent broker except one independent brokers are not employees that's true they are independent right independent brokers are paid all of his uh, expenses including salary by their insurers no they pay by themselves they pay by themselves so that's false so this is the answer c independent brokers are not limited to representing only one insurer so they represent many companies so that's true independent broker receive commission that's also true directly from the from the insurers and we go to the question number 7 all of the following are risks commonly faced by everyone except one pick the exception to find false this one financial loss due to loss of one's health accident or sickness right everybody financial responsibility to third party for having caused injury or property damage if you hit somebody you know you can be liable that's true financial loss due to failure of one's business so everybody doesn't do business only business man right so this one financial loss due to loss of damage to one's property if you loss or damage one so so basically okay so then okay and this one seems to be different actually right all right is by everyone right financial loss due to the failure of no, yeah failure business doesn't have to be yeah that's to see you will see then eight there are variety of option people have to deal with this least practical option is avoidance the most practical is the is the transfer of risk yeah so see avoidance then the nine number nine insurance provide protection against financial hardships due to loss while this may be caused by either a speculative risk or a per so what do you mean by pure risk is only in you know, only the chance of financial loss no gain so it's d number 10 note all contracts are legally enforceable only those where all where all elements are present are considered enforceable because an insurance contract is different from other contract there are three elements that are unique to contracts of insurance only what are those three indemnity mean compensation at most good faith it may 100% honest right at exact compliance means and insurable interest this is d number 11 consideration what do you mean consideration something of a value here is c anything of value then 12 contract is legally binding only when all parties are considered to have legal capacity have a legal capacity only the following contract would be enforced by the courts a businessman sue the supplier who fails to deliver smuggled goods so you can't do the trading for the illegal stuff right so this one the 14 year old who refuses to pay for meal she has ordered she has to pay right for meal so the minor can deal with the food food clothing and lodging an insurance contract showing the insured as molly's cleaning service so molly's name came first right so basically so basically that's to so so like jb is helping him or ab is uh, you know excellent you know uh, excel currency right parties have agreed to all contract terms but are still negotiating the price this also to right so we do need the number a 